Speak up English, the key to success. Hey, Sita. How's your English speaking practice coming along? Hi, Ran. It's been quite a journey. I've been watching English sitcoms with subtitles. It's like learning and laughing at the same time. What about you? Haha, <laughs> that's a fun way to learn, Sita. I've been trying tongue twisters. It's like a workout for my mouth. By the way, do you have a favorite English word or phrase? Oh, I love the phrase barking up the wrong tree. It's funny imagining someone chasing the wrong tree. How about you, Ran? That's a good one, Sita. I like break a leg. It's like wishing good luck in a quirky way. So, have you ever had a funny language mix up while practicing English? Absolutely. Once, I ordered salty water instead of sparkling water. It was like a surprise at the dinner table. How about you, Ran? Haha, <laughs> salty water. I once told someone I was excited instead of exhausted after a long day. They must have thought I was really energetic. That must have been a funny conversation, Ran. But these language mishaps make learning interesting. So, what's your favorite English accent? I quite like the Australian accent. It's like a mix of British and American, with a touch of down-to-earth charm. How about you, Sita? I'm a fan of the British accent. It's like listening to a classic novel come to life. Now, any tips for improving pronunciation? Tongue twisters are my secret weapon, Sita. They're like a vocal gym workout. How about you? Any pronunciation tips? Reading books out loud has helped me a lot. It's like giving your mouth a workout. So, do you prefer reading in English or your native language? I enjoy both, but there's something special about reading in English. It's like immersing yourself in another world. How about you, Sita? I agree, Ran. English books offer a different perspective. So, what's your all-time favorite English word? Serendipity is a beautiful word. It's like finding something wonderful by chance. What about you, Sita? Ephemeral is a favorite of mine. It's like describing the fleeting beauty of life. Now, accents again. Can you mimic any accent, Ran? Haha, <laughs> I can do a bit of a British accent. It's like stepping into a Sherlock Holmes story. How about you, Sita? Can you mimic an accent? I can manage a decent American Southern accent. It's like I'm in a Southern movie. Well, this conversation has been a blend of language and laughter, Ran. It sure has, Sita. Learning should always be this enjoyable. Part 2 So, Sita, besides watching sitcoms, what else have you been doing to practice speaking English? Well, Ran, I've also been participating in online language exchange sessions. 
It's like a virtual cultural exchange, and I've made some amazing friends from around the world. How about you? That sounds fantastic, Sita. Apart from tongue twisters, I've been recording myself speaking in English and then listening to it. It's like having a conversation with a more confident version of myself. That's a great idea, Ran. It's like giving yourself constructive feedback. You know, they say practice makes perfect, but what's your take on how often one should practice? I think consistency is key, Sita. It's better to practice a little bit every day rather than cramming all at once. It's like building a strong foundation brick by brick. I completely agree, Ran. Consistency is like the steady beat of a drum that keeps us on track. Now, have you ever encountered a word in English that you just couldn't pronounce correctly? Oh, absolutely, Sita. Squirrel used to be my nemesis. It's like the tongue-twisting champion of words. How about you? Any tongue twisters you struggled with? Haha, <laughs> squirrel is a tough one, Ran. For me, thorough and throughout were real tongue twisters. They're like a roller coaster ride for your tongue. Ah, those can be tricky, Sita. English is full of such challenges. But that's what makes it interesting. What's your favorite English-speaking country you'd love to visit someday? I'd love to visit the United Kingdom, Ran. Exploring London and the English countryside sounds like a dream. How about you? I've always wanted to explore the USA particularly the West Coast. It's like stepping into a Hollywood movie. Now, let's talk about accents again. If you could wake up tomorrow speaking with a perfect accent, which one would you choose? That's a tough one, Ran, but I think I'd go for the Irish accent. It's like a musical lullaby in every sentence. How about you? I'd choose the Scottish accent. It's like listening to the rolling hills and the misty locks. Now, do you have a favorite English-speaking actor whose accent you adore? I absolutely adore Emma Watson's accent, Ran. It's like a blend of sophistication and charm. How about you? Any actor whose accent you admire? I'm a big fan of Hugh Jackman's accent. It's like a melody that can make any story sound epic. Well, Sita, our conversation today has been a delightful English practice session. Indeed, Ran. Learning together makes the journey enjoyable. Let's keep exploring the world of English. Part 3 Sita, I've been curious about this. Have you ever used any language learning apps to help with your English speaking practice? Absolutely, Ran. I use language apps like Duolingo and Babel. They're like having a personal tutor in your pocket. How about you? I've tried those too, Sita. They're like little English teachers right on your phone. Speaking of teachers, have you had any memorable English teachers who left a lasting impact on you? 
Yes, Ran, I had a teacher in high school who made learning English so much fun. It's like she turned every lesson into a captivating story. How about you? I had a college professor who was a true grammar guru. It's like he demystified the English language for me. Now, do you have a favorite English speaking author? Jane Austen is my all time favorite, Ran. Her novels are like a journey back in time with a touch of humor. How about you? I'm a fan of George Orwell. His writing is like a wake up call that makes you think. So, Sita, what's the most challenging aspect of learning English for you? Pronunciation, Ran. English has so many sounds. And sometimes it feels like I'm trying to play a musical instrument with my tongue. What about you? Any challenges that stand out? Vocabulary, Sita. There are so many words in English, and it's like trying to catch all the stars in the sky. But it's a beautiful challenge. Now. Have you ever traveled to an English speaking country for language immersion? Yes, Ran, I once spent a summer in Canada. It was like living in an English speaking bubble. And my language skills improved immensely. How about you? That sounds amazing, Sita. I haven't had the chance yet. But I hope to visit an English speaking country soon for that immersive experience. Now, what's your ultimate English speaking goal? My dream is to be fluent enough to hold deep conversations on complex topics, Ran. It's like reaching the summit of a language mountain. How about you? I share a similar goal, Sita. Fluency to me means being able to express my thoughts and ideas confidently. Like a well versed storyteller. Our English journeys have been quite an adventure, haven't they? They sure have, Ran. Learning a language is like exploring a new world. And I'm grateful for the experiences and friendships it has brought into my life.